Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 16 Awoken Skill Predictions and Desires here on the channel, guys. I am really excited for another mod showcase. I want to say a big, massive shout out to the GOAT, the homie himself, DB Grease, for creating this. Uh, this is a cool mod, man, okay? We don't have many Namekian CAC skills, but this is a awoken skill that a lot of people want okay i would say i would even argue to say that more people want this than the beast awoken okay believe me i want both but i feel like the beast awoken just doesn't really seem too realistic for this game right now right now maybe later on in the future or in xenoverse 3 but the orange namic skill or even the yellow potential unleashed namic skill that feels a lot more realistic because we have no additional DLC update skills for Namekians or, I mean, for any race for that matter. It's always Saiyans, right? So I just got done training with my boy Piccolo as I am Pico Slow. And we're going to be jumping straight into what these look like and just how they would function. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Before we get into it, again, go support DB Grease and check out the mod for yourself and download it. It is free to download, not a Patreon. And uh, be sure to drop a like on this video, guys. We have to reach over a 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours. If we can do that, I'll do another Awoken skill for CAC that you maybe want to see. So let's get into it with the customization here. So your boy Pickle Slow is pretty, uh, I guess you would say generic looking. I just made him look like the base kind of Namekian CAC that you can make. So I got a lot of new cool skills here. Uh, I want to say a big match shout out to the homie Azura for giving me a bunch of new supers and ultimates. We also have uh, the homie, uh, I believe, Imi DZ and Paradise Flames for uh, these other skills here. But like I said, we're mainly going to be focusing on this one right here. So this has two different forms in one, okay? I don't know if it would function this way. I have no idea how this would work. But uh, I think at least, at the very least, we should get the orange form, okay? The orange form just seems so divine and awesome, you know? So I, I feel like that would be the best way to doing it is just give us orange form. The uh, potential unleash isn't really that big of a deal for me. So it says ascend and break through your own ceiling, attaining the highest power your physical body can achieve. Then take it even further with a little extra granted to you by Purunga. That's actually really sick, dude. And I know it was Shenron that did it, but you know, Purunga just sounds more badass, right? So this will use 500 key. It's basically like your Super Saiyan uh, Blue or Blue Evolved or turn gold or whatever you want to call it the the most higher upper echelon of transformations for a namek that we don't really have okay because all we have is become giant right uh and then we have the giant namekian orange namekian skill okay we'll showcase you separately so this one says with the help of Peringa, you have reached a level not before seen on your namek now combine it with your natural ability to increase your size while you're around, nothing shall threaten Namek again. Let's go, dude. And I definitely think that you should be able to train with Piccolo first, and then you make a wish, kind of like Super Saiyan God. Okay, make a wish to Shenron. Does that sound cool? All right, let's do it. All right, shout outs to Mix Modders. We got my boy. <laughs> Giga Chad Chin Piccolo. Oh my God. So I think the orange does give you a Giga, Giga Chad Chin. <laughs> so let it, oh. I'm coughing, y'all. <laughs> I have not been feeling it. I'm sorry. So here it is. First and foremost, we have our potential unleashed. As you can see, it turned me orange. Or sorry, not orange. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Am I colorblind? It turned me a yellowish hue. So this is pretty cool because, uh, I mean, for whatever reason, I think it's just because of how it works. Again, this will be better if we actually get it in the DLC. This is just the way that uh, DB Grease could make it for us. So it changes my nose. Uh, I believe it changed my antennas. And I got like this lighter green eye color. Your all the Namekians will kind of look like this unless you install different versions. Now there was a shirtless version, but the pants had no textures and it looked really bad. So I was just like, nah, we won't even do that. So again, to show you guys the difference, as you can see, I have uh, the turban and just the way my CAC looks. He's just kind of like a generic uh, bluish kind of version of a uh, Namek or whatever. Like I'm just like a blue version of Piccolo. But this is kind of cool because it does make sense, right? Um, it uses the potential unleash animation, which I mean makes sense. Um, it does change my clothing. Now, if you guys didn't really notice in the movie, Piccolo's clothing changes. He basically uses the clothes beam on himself. It's a little bit weird, but it's cool at the same time. I love this form. It looks really nice. Uh, I like the aura. This is nice, like, you know, yellow. Kind of, it's basically like a Super Saiyan aura that we have. 
And then we have Giga Chat Chin. Look at it. <laughs> oh my God. So in the movie, when I first saw this movie and I first saw previews, the way they made it look was that he was going to have a butt chin. He was going to straight up have like a, a booty chin, an ass chin. <laughs> but he actually doesn't. He just has a more refined jawline, okay? So this is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, we do get the antennas pointing up and look at this. You guys are going to love this. This, was, this is what sealed the deal for me on this. Bro, we get the, the tree symbol. We get the tree symbol. Oh yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Let's go. And I like the aura is the Super Saiyan God aura. I don't know if you would get a new aura, like, completely, if they would do that. Probably not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, actually, you know what? They, they could. But you reusing the Super Saiyan aura and the Super Saiyan God aura is not really a bad idea. I mean, it matches kind of what Xenoverse looks like, you know, the style of it. But the orange form looks amazing, okay? It looks really, really nice. I think he did an amazing job on this. For it being a mod, just to give you guys a general concept and idea, look at that. Piccolo and I, we, we big chillin' as literally the same dude, right? I'm just like a smaller version of him, right? Tokyo Tree is a monthly Japanese subscription box where you will get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, like the Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, and many more. While Sakurako is a monthly Japanese subscription box full of authentic, traditional Japanese snacks from Japan's local artisan snack makers. Both are delivered straight from Japan to your door. Tokyo Tree and Sakurako's boxes come with a different theme every month, keeping things exciting and fresh. If you want to enjoy pop Japanese snacks, you can choose the Tokyo Treat Box, but if you want more traditional Japanese treats, you can enjoy Sakurako instead. If you're a bit intimidated on what's included in these boxes, don't worry at all. A booklet is provided within each box explaining every snack included, and there's a lot of informative Japanese culture that you can actually learn from each booklet. All right, guys, happy New Year. So we have a lot of New Year themed stuff for Tokyo Tree. First and foremost, there is a, I believe it's a premier pear fanta. Never seen pear fanta before, so that's pretty cool. There's also Spy Family, if you guys are a big fan of this anime, which I love, uh, Anya. There's like these little pink lightsabers. And then we have this Koi Kia or Korkea, like a chip or some kind of snack. What we gotta try, obviously, is always the number one for me. And that is Kit Kats right here. So this is a strawberry chocolate. Yep, it's like if you mix strawberry and chocolate milk. That's really good. So this is really cool for Sakurako. We have a crepe. A whole crate. You can smell like the egg in it. The egg is extremely strong smell. So it looks like there is a, yeah, there's a filling. Should I just go straight down the middle on this? Oh my God. It's like a strawberry pancake. What? Of course, gotta wash it down with a little bit of Genmai tea. Okay, this one's just really cute from Sakurako as well. So it's the year of, I guess, the rabbit. So look at the Look at the little mochi rabbit. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, dude. And we do have a new kitchenware. Look at that, it even has the logo, the brand logo. It's a little cup here, it's a sake cup. So if you guys are a big fan of sake, here you go. So happy new year, guys. This year's theme is the snacking New Year's for Tokyo Treat. You can experience the excitement of the New Year celebration in Japan with the Kit Kat strawberry chocolate cake, Fanta Premier Pear, and Spy Family Anya Candy, and many more. This month's theme for Sakurako will be the New Year's in Igata. Get a specially designed as well as a collaboration with Igata Prefecture and local snack makers. Igata is renowned for its high quality rice products like the sake and mochi. Together, we invite you to celebrate the upcoming year of the rabbit and provide you with a specialty snack like the Echi Gohime strawberry crepe and the Igata Konjak Yokan. All snacks pair well with the special Genmai tea, and this month's kitchenware will be the exclusive sake cup. Pour yourself a cup and cheer and wish everyone a good fortune and happy new year. If you like what you see, use code SLOWS to get $5 off for your first Sakurako box through the link down below in the description, and also to get $5 off for your first Tokyo treat box, also down in the link in the description below. 
So don't forget to use my code SLOW to get $5 off your first box and get a chance to experience Japan in person because Sakurako is also giving away a free ticket to Japan. The giveaway will end on January 31st, 2023. So this is sick, man. I'm, I'm excited. Let, let's, let's, let's slot my boy Piccolo up. Piccolo's got a really small hand. I just noticed that. And he's actually kind of small just to begin with. So we have this skill. Look at this. Just give up. That is so sick. So it is the uh, Fusion Reborn. Z Gogeta. And I love the, the look of Orange Piccolo when he's punching me. That's literally what... This right here, this is him in the movie. Him doing the big-ass fist in the movie. That's it, y'all. That's it right here. That's so sick. This animation is fantastic. It's so badass. So Azura did a really good job on that. We also have the... Is that all you've got? Fuck your shit. <laughs> uh, Piccolo, fuck you. Fuck you, Piccolo, you bastard. Oh, look at that. I love it. Then we have Punisher Assault. This one's kind of weird, but it's so sick at the same time. It is. Dude, it's the blue card, I believe, from Gogeta. The backflip kick into Kamehameha. Pretty savage, right? Pretty savage. Goes hard. Uh, I think Burst Charge is a good skill for him. Look at that. Look at, look at, look. Look at the charge up on the key. Shout out to these auras, these nuts, for giving me this sick ass transforming. Look at that, bro. Oh, that looks so amazing. That that right there, that's that's an orange Namek if I've ever seen one myself, bro. Dragon Burn would be a good skill for this, right? As an evasive? I don't even know. Okay, check this one out. You guys are gonna love this. Kyle Ken Assault. Or finish, sorry. It's the skill, the attack, the move that Goku did to Nappa in the Saiyan Saga. Let's go, bro. Oh, that's fancy. The way that he finishes him off is immaculate. This right here, that is so sick. <laughs> you know what it kind of looks like? It literally looks like what uh, uh, Cell Max was doing to Orange Piccolo, to Piccolo in the movie. He literally threw him up in the air and then caught him like that, and that's what pissed Gohan off. He thought he thought this motherfucker was dead. <laughs> I would have thought he was dead too, bro. Like, if I didn't know spoilers, I would be like, damn, he killed this dude. I'm just joking. You know, it's Dragon Ball. They don't. There's the characters like never die, right? Basically. All right, and then we finish this off obviously with. Special Beast Beam Cannon. Gohan skill, because it looks awesome. Oh! And I like that he actually does say Special Beam Cannon. <laughs> that looks so weird. That looks so derpy, dude. With his... <laughs> with his... With his booty-ass chin, bro. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> with the... <laughs> with the crack chin. <laughs> my, man, my man's gonna shit from his chin. <laughs> I'm so childless. I'm sorry, guys. I know. I know. It's cringe. All right. Whatever. All right. Giant form next. Let's finish this off. All right, guys. You guys are going to love this. So I believe this just automatically turns you giant orange to mech beam. Yep, it does. That is sick, bro. That is sick. Let's go. Here, hold on. I think I can do it with Piccolo as well. Let's let's do it, bro. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. He's really small. Oh, my God. Okay. So this, this one is actual giant Namekian, the CAC version. But Orange Piccolo, I think, is a little bit smaller. Or not a little bit, he's way smaller. I think it was just to make him, like, more playable. You know what I mean? Look at that. I like how my mentor is just like a, he's like a child. Can I just grab him? My man, my man's neck. Piccolo, your neck game getting, getting. Oh, he looks like that. You guys know who I'm talking about. He looks like the dude. He looks like that guy, that dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, Homer Simpson. Why are you little? <laughs> what? Look at this shit. Just y'all. Y'all that are watching this, you know what you need to do. Screenshot this shit and send it to me on Twitter at SlowPlays. Because this right here, this is the funniest, this is one of the funniest things I think I've ever seen, bro. In Xenoverse, look at that, bro. Oh my god. I'm done. So yeah, you just, 
it's just an orange version of Giants the Mechian, right? It's what you would expect. You can, you can, I forgot that you, you can run. That's actually sick. That's hella sick. Evil Roar. That looks so cool, dude. Is it normally like a yellowish orange color? If it's not, that that's a cool little thing that he added in. I feel like it was like a pur purple color or something like that. I don't know. Um, the reason I think the reason why he's smaller, dude, his neck looks like he just got a straight up. Why does everything look like a like an ass? He just he just has he just has someone's ass that got transplanted on his back. I can't do this video guys. I cannot finish this. I am oh my god <laughs> The grab was funny as fuck though Okay guys you get the idea of it It's cool. It's cool. All right, let's finish this off of versus so guys It's only fitting that we do a Namekian battle on Namek, right? I feel like I never go to this stage I say that about everything because I don't go to any stages other than the tournament of power <laughs> It's kind of pitiful. I'm sorry y'all, but um, I do like that this version of Orange Piccolo, there is a shirtless preset. It looks really nice, dude. I, I can't even lie. Mm. I want to use... You know, I'm just saying it right now. I want to this, this Awoken skill to happen so that it prompts people to actually use the Namek. I'm not saying that nobody uses the Namek, but nobody uses any other race other than the Saiyans, right? The Saiyans and maybe, maybe the humans, just because they're basically Saiyans. Um, I feel like the, uh, what is it, Frieza race, people use a lot as well. I could be wrong, though. But y'all let me know. Y'all let me know down in the comments, like, what... If you were to rank the order of, like, how often people use the other races, I think Saiyans would be one, maybe humans two, Frieza race three, then Majin's four, and then, uh, I feel like Namics are just dead last. I'm sorry to say it. I love the Namics, but I just feel like I never see anybody use them. Right? Like, I can't be the only one. Is that all you got? <laughs> Is that all you got? He's gonna break my stamina, but I think this will look badass. Okay. That looked badass. It definitely did look badass, but... I think I'm about to die. Piccolo ain't fucking around, dude. Oh my god, he's like, all right, I'm gonna give you the training, the last training session of your life, son. All right, I'm gonna have to cheese him. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cheese him. Yeah, we're cheesing him, y'all. Oh, did that fuck up? Yeah, that definitely fucked up. Oh, that looks sick, though. That does a lot of damage. What the hell, dude? Okay, so this move... Yeah, I can be, I can be a cheating piece of shit with that one. That's actually sick, bro. Hold on. Is that all you've got? Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I think this is the most I've ever laughed in a video. I'm gonna have like a little mini asthma attack, y'all. Oh man. Oh my back hurts too. I'm getting old, y'all. I can't I can't be doing these mod showcases. I'm just joking, bro. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 50 feet underground. I'll I'll still do mod showcases for y'all. Y'all you already know. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video. Uh, entertaining, okay? Uh, over anything, I just want you guys to maybe have a, get a laugh because I laughed way too much. I'm probably, I'm literally here in my room just laughing by myself. There's no one else. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe here on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>